so next is operators in python this is very simple so in python operators with special uh, symbols that perform operations on variables and values so here's a detailed breakdown of uh, operators in python so first is the arithmetic operators so arithmetic operators is basically the what we have in math right so for addition subtraction all those things we have in math it's similarly here but uh, with few changes with respect to the computer coding language so firstly if you want to do addition we just add using plus uh, this operator operator is plus here this has two values next subtraction operator this does subtraction so multi uh, so we discussed yesterday the multiplication is represented by the asterisk so this is the operator used for multiplication so for division we represent using the slash so this divides the first value by the second and always set in safe float so if you want to increase the division uh, we want to use the two uh, two slashes so it divides the first by the second and rounds to the nearest integer so here let's take an example of this one so let's say 2 divided by 4 by 2 so as as we discussed it always gives float so let's say 4 divided by 2 with double slash like integer division so this gives always integer so let's say we have 5 divided by 2 it gives 2.5 but double slash is gives the 2 only it's the flowing up to the nearest integer next is modulus operator basically it returns the rem reminder of the division of the first value by the second so basically if we divide 10 by 3 the remainder is 1 right so that is represented in the modulus operator so 10 ampersand 3 what do we get 1 this is the reminder so next is exponential operator so this raises the first value to the power of the second value so basically if you want to get the 2 power 3 what we need to do is like this exponential operator sorry it's my bad here i put 2 point and so here 2 double so 3 is 8 next is comparison operator so basically to come this comparator operators are used to compare two values so they always return either true or false like only the they return booleans so here we are comparing 10 equal to equal to 2 so this is true right so that's why it returns true so one it's not equal to uh, like here there's not equal to operator so here returns true if the values are not equal so basically here 10 not equal to 5 that is true right so output is true so here uh, if you say 5 equal to equal to 10 the output is false there and then here greater than operator so basically this returns true if the value is greater than the second so if 10 greater than 5 it returns true let's say we we say 5 greater than 10 it returns false next is less than operator so this returns true if the first value is less than the second so basically if we do 5 less than 10 it output is true then again like if you do 10 less than 5 the output is false so it's like you don't need to remember all this at one shot like even if like you, you can get this from the google so i'm just making you aware that this exists in python so that's all like you don't need to remember everything what i say and next is uh, greater than or equal to operator so here uh, this returns true if the first value is greater than or equal to the second so here uh, result is equals to 10 greater than or equal to 5 which is true let's say we we have 5 greater than or equal to 10 then the output is false so next is less than or equal to so this returns true if the first value is less than or equal to the second value so here this is 5 less than or equal to 10 is true right so that's why it returns true so uh, like if we had 10 less than or equal to 5 that this would return false so next is logical operator so basically these are used to combine the conditional statements so what all we have is and or and not so and is uh, basically like uh, this returns true if both conditions are true like this this is just a chaining of uh, conditions like true and true is true true and like let's go to here uh, we'll break down these conditions so and is something which is aggressive so if we have true next is also true it becomes true true and true is true so basically think and as a multiplication operator so if one into one is it is one right if one into zero it is 0 0 into 1 it is 0 again if 0 into 0 it is 0 so similarly here like replace uh, this uh, multiplication operator with and and 1 with true and 0 with false so you will get the like comparison with and so you can always take like the integer value of the true is 1 uh, what I meant is uh, let's go here 
one second uh, here so integer value of 2 if you convert the 2 into integer it, it is always 1 so let's say integer value false it's always 0 right hope you got the analogy so next is or so logical or this returns to if at least one of the conditions is true so basically here uh, we are checking 10 greater than 5 or 5 less than 2 so here if either one of them is true then it is true uh, so here is just like a most lenient thing than and so here you can check for one uh, like any of them is true then it is true so basically it's uh, you can say that uh, you had this or gates and and gates right it is the same comparison here next is logical not so this reverses the result uh, returning false if true basically this is a negation uh, if you've had logical operators in school right it's the same thing so this is just uh, using not uh, if we keep not uh, append not in front of the result we have then the, it would invert the result so if it is the, this result is true it would return false if this false it is written true so here 10 greater than 5 is true right so not of that is false next is assignment operators so assignment operators are used to assign value to the variables so firstly uh, we have uh, equal to operator this assigns the right hand value to the left hand uh, variable so here when we do x is equal to 5 uh, now x becomes 5 so basically this is assignment operator next add and assign operator so this is the shorthand version actually so if you want to do something let's say here uh, we have x is equals to 5 One second let me go here so we have x is equals to 5 so now let's say we, we want to do plus 5 for this so we can do x is equals to x plus 5 so the shorthand version is x plus is equals to 5 so basically this operator we fetching it here and this going here in uh, after this one so x plus is equals to 5 is just a shorthand version of that next similarly we have this subtract and ascend operator which is x minus equal to 5 nextly we have multiplication and ascend operator so this basically here we have x we want to do multiply by 5 which is equals to this one so in short and version we can write like this is equals to 5 so let's say we had uh, so the value of the x changes after this assignment so firstly if we add x is equals to 1 then uh, we do x star is equals to 5 it uh, changes the x value to 5 it multiplies this and assigns the value to the x same for division operator so this is like same thing uh, for for and divide so we have we know the floor divide operator in python next is a modulus operator so modulus operator also we saw just like the reminder it gives so this is equal to x is equal to x modulus 5 and next is the exponential operator so basically here what all operators we had is this shortened version of assignment operators next is int operators so int operators are used to uh, compare the memory allocation of the two objects so basically like if this is uh, like is operator is what like it returns to if both uh, variables refer to the same object uh, let's say we have x this one uh, one two three and y is equal to x so here if you say x is y so output is true because they're referring to the same memory allocation so python actually it in the heap space it stores uh, it um, uh, objects if once we create it so the memory allocated is same for that so that's why it's true and next is not so basically it's a negation so it returns true if both uh, variables refer to the different objects so here uh, it's like we have x and we have y so these two would have different heap space in python because we created two different lists here and then so here memory allocation is not same so that's why we have x is not y then it is true so here membership operators so membership is just like operators used to test whether the value in the sequence so this is uh, applicable for list tuple string and even applicable for dictionary so here in returns true if the value is found in the sequence so we have uh, x is equal to 1 2 3 so let's say uh, we say we ask for 2 in x it returns true and then we ask for 4 in x it returns false because 4 is not in x now not in is just the inversion so it returns true if the value is not found in the sequence so if 4 is not in x it returns true because 4 is not in the sequence right so next is bitwise operator so bitwise operator uh, so bit, before running this bitwise operator so let's go to the basics so we have binary operator right like like binary is just like a base 2 so let's say uh, here we take an example of 5 and 3 right so 5 is represented as here uh, 0 1 0 1 how is this 0 1 0 1 uh, here some it starts with base 2 
so here uh, this is the exponential powers of 2 uh, we have to multiply with 1 2 and 3 okay so 1 into 2 power 0 which is 1 into 1 is equals to 1 next is 0 into something is always 0 we keep 0 here and next is uh, we have uh, 1 into 2 power 2 which is 1 into 4 4 so 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 so basically this uh, conversion uh, is what we have right from integer to base to representation so likewise like we know how 5 is represented so 5 is represented as uh, 0 1 0 1 and how is 3 represented 3 represent as 0 0 1 1 so here if you want to perform the binary operations uh, this first is and so and does is like 1 and 1 is 1 so 0 and uh, 1 is 0 1 and 0 is 0 uh, multiplication between the bits so our operator is just like uh, we check if either one of them is true then it is true like that same case so here uh, we have 0 1 0 1 for 5 and for 3 we have 0 0 1 1 here uh, how did we get the result of 0 we got 0 1 1 1 how we just add it right so if uh, 1 or 1 is always 1 so basically it like which is true like it is just like a logical operator at bit level so 1 or 1 is 1 and 0 or 1 is 1 and 1 or 0 is 1 so that's how we got this 7 so by the way this is 7 in binary and similarly xor so basically at the bit level it performs xor xor is what like uh, same values of xor like 1 xor 1 is 0 1 xor 0 is 1 so 0 xor 1 is 1 and 0 xor 0 is 0 so basically if you xor the same value it would be 0 uh, of opposite values it remains uh, like we get the which is 1 like which is which value is holds 2 we get the 2 so that's the ba basics of xor next is left shift so basically it performs a left shift operation so let's say we have this uh, 0 1 0 1 we left shift by 2 so it means like we had to left shift the bits by 2 so here uh, we had left shift by 2 times so first uh, let's say we do 1 time 0 1 0 1 and here we get 0 and again we have to do which is 0 here we get 1 here 0 1 0 0 so which is 20 next is right shift it's just opposite of the left shift so next is breaks of function so basically function is used to define a reusable part of code so, so like if you define function once like you can use it anywhere so let's say uh, we define the function uh, define greet and take the name and then uh, we can uh, have some uh, initial lines of code like let's say we printed the name so here we say define name and print high name so here let's say we have greet uh, we call the function using the name so we have to pass the name here name is the argument of the function so we pass uh, csm so it prints high csm so this is just a basics like we'll explore it later uh, so so the keyword here is def for defining the function and then uh, the function name followed by the argument so this is the argument of the function so that means uh, like function is always stateless so we have to pass the arguments uh, to get uh, whatever like to execute the business logic on that arguments so here uh, actually uh, greet takes one argument here so if you have uh, any set of other variables also we can pause it so for our case we just used one variable here uh, that is an argument so uh, basically uh, here uh, argument is nothing but a variable which is used inside the function uh, like this is a variable we pass to the function that's the argument so it's the same case so next here the basic dsa problem like here we need to check the palindrome so palindrome is something uh, which reads same uh, like if you even read from the start and end so let's say we have sos this reads same from start and end this is the palindrome so in python uh, we can check it using s is equal to s of s1 so this is uh, list slicing don't worry about it like we'll get into later uh, so so this is the logical operators we are using so s double equal to s of s minus one is just like we uh, this reverse the string and checks if both are equal since we have the logical operators i just give this example here so here we just take the ex uh, input using the entire string of input and then uh, we check if the palindrome uh, if it is a palindrome this uh, block excludes like it prints the string is a palindrome if not it prints it prints like the string is not a palindrome so this is the quiz for this episode so put your uh, answers in the comments so
Great job. You just leveled up your Python skills by mastering operators. But before you go, drop a quick answer to today's quiz in the comments. Let's see who's paying attention. Also, let me know what topics you're most excited to explore in the next episodes. Your inputs help shape the series, so don't be shy. I want to hear from you. So if you're finding this series helpful, make sure to check out the next episodes where we deep dive into even more exciting topics. Every step you take is bringing closer into the mastering based structures and algorithm. So keep going. And hey, don't forget to share the series with your friends and fellow callers. Let's all grow together. See you in the next episode.